Hi, everyone. My name is Ira Wolf, a senior consultant with Dame Leadership. Thanks to thought leaders like Angela Duckworth and Brene Brown, many managers now rattle off grit and resilience as must-have skills when it comes to describing what it takes to be a top performer. Others have turned to assessments like Clifton Strengths, formerly called Strengths Finders, to identify what makes people excel over others. The pandemic only seemed to throw gasoline on the belief that more grit more resilience, and more reliance on our strengths was the holy grail of future success. And while I'm a strong believer in the value of building grit and building resistance and focusing on our natural gifts, new research is showing that you might need to be careful about what you ask for. In his book, Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain from Disorder, Nassim Nicholas Tlaib introduced the idea of anti-fragility which is defined as the ability to become stronger when an object is subject to stress, disruption, and chaos. He initially applied it to explain how our banking system collapsed and failed in 2007 and 2008. But more importantly, agility can now be easily applied to the human ability to grow and thrive versus merely coping and surviving. Imagine this, you pick up a cup or a glass, you drop it. It hits the floor. What happens? It shatters into a million pieces. Now imagine if that cup was anti-fragile. Instead of breaking into a million pieces, it bounces and in midair, its molecules morph into something bigger and stronger. Faced with uncertainty and tough times, grit and resilience allows us to persevere and bounce back. But when the situation requires us to adapt, change and innovate, like it does living in today's never normal, running faster, working harder, and bouncing up to do it all over again eventually takes its toll. Look no further than the historic rates of stress and burnout amongst all our employees in many, many workplaces. When overplayed, a focus on grit and a targeted focus on our strengths builds fragility so great that it overpowers all the resilience one can muster. It's also unfortunate because at this time, our focus should be on the growth and thriving of our employees, not just offering support and prayers to continue going and coping and surviving. Leading with purpose is not just about leadership intent, but outcomes. Leading with purpose requires leaders to equip their workforces with the ability to grow and thrive, to adapt and innovate, to become anti-fragile. Anti-fragility not resilience should be the goal every organization and every individual should seek to achieve in 2023. And every leader has the potential to help them achieve this outcome. If you are ready to transform your business in 2023 to create an environment that inspires growth, give us Dame Leadership a call.